According to the criminal complaint, the female was at a party on campus and passed out on a couch after drinking. She allegedly woke up to a then 19-year-old Patrick Whetstone sexually assaulting her. That was in March 2014. The victim reported the incident right away to Iowa State Police. The lawsuit says ISU police did not charge Whetstone until October 2014, six months after the incident. ISU police say the investigation was delayed because witnesses left campus at the end of the spring 2014 semester. It resumed in the fall when students returned. The lawsuit says the victim returned to campus that fall after withdrawing from spring classes following the incident. When she did return, the lawsuit says she was assigned to live in a private room in Fredrickson Court, one building away from Whetstone. The two ran into each other almost every day taking buses to and from class. The lawsuit says the encounter aggravated the victim's emotional distress and made it more difficult for her to heal. When she reported the living arrangements to ISU, they offered to move her to a converted den with three other students. The victim withdrew from ISU again because of the proximity to Whetstone and ISU's delayed response. ISU says because these are allegations made in court, we will respond in court. We can share that response once it's filed. And they say individual student records are protected so they can only confirm Whetstone was last enrolled in fall 2014.